guys and welcome back to Ask Nikki. I'm sorry that we missed the last couple days of the episodes but I am back today and tomorrow and back on schedule next week so I'm going to jump right in to today's question. Hi Nikki, this is kind of long but I need help. So, I have developed a strong hatred towards this girl in my school. I am very honest about my opinions towards people, so I told this girl how I felt. We don't really talk anymore. I don't talk about her at all to other people, but I found out that she has been talking bad about me to a lot of my friends and calling me names behind my back. I'm trying not to let it bug me, but I had to confront her. She just kept laughing and denying the whole thing. I didn't, I don't care about it, but it's still bugging me a lot. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Okay, so if I'm understanding this right, I guess the part that's kind of missing for me from this question is what you told the girl. Because I know you said you've developed like a strong hatred towards the girl, but it says you're very honest about your opinions towards people, so you told this girl how you felt, and you don't really talk anymore. I think that, you know, the first thing you should ask yourself is when you're telling people how you feel, like, there's this thing where like communication and being honest is really important. Ooh, I just gave the camera. But there's also something that I know that I have had to learn and I'm still learning and I'm probably gonna have to work on my whole life, which is also realizing that like nobody is perfect. So not everything has to be vocalized. So the first question you might wanna ask yourself is, do I like over vocalize? Like, am I bringing up things to people that don't necessarily need to be brought up? So. That being said, if the answer is yes, I feel like the best way to go would be to try to talk to this girl again and come towards her, come to her with kind of like, not an apologetic, but, but kind of like apologizing, like, hey, I'm not perfect. I probably shouldn't have said that to you. And I really want to move on and be normal and get along, you know, and be friendly and see what she says. Now, the next or the other side to that is if there was just a serious issue and you confronted this girl on it and she wouldn't talk it talk through it with you and ended up just running around talking a bunch of crap about you around the school then I would say that there is still kind of two routes you could try talking to her again but it sounds like she doesn't really want to talk but you could try that I don't think that's ever a bad thing but then the other route is kind of like like ignore the haters. It's something that I think is hard for all of us when other people are so opinionated or saying stuff about us behind our back or all these things. I think we have this feeling that we just have to like go and explain ourselves to everyone. I struggle with that. I think most of us struggle with that, but you don't have to unless something is directly impacting your life, which that would be a different scenario and you would need to go to a school official if that's the case. Unless something is impacting your life, in my opinion, I do think it is kind of good to just kind of ignore it and just keep living your life because everybody, my dad said this to me a long time ago when I used to work at like theme parks and there was some drama that happened and some people were not fans of mine and I remember my dad told me, he was like, well, now there is kind of this side of there's something to learn from everything, but he also said, honey, every single person can have an opinion and will have an opinion. So whose opinions do you value? Not everybody really knows you and knows like what your life is like. And really like the only people who can have valid opinions over you anyways that you should really be taking into consideration are the people who do know you, which are not going to be a ton of people because nobody's really with you all the time and knows all of the circumstances so it's just I don't even know I went off on a tangent I don't know if I've made any sense but I think it's important to listen to the opinions of the people that you trust and know you and to other people it's good to just kind of let it roll off your back that being said I know that that's really hard I'm human I stuff hurts me too so um yeah, but those, I don't know, I feel like that's a generic answer. So as usual, um, anyone else who's watching, if you have opinions or suggestions, leave them in the comments down below because I think it's kind of cool to have a discussion about like just dealing with tough issues. And I know that my approach is just like one way of like many different ways. I'm always trying to learn. So leave your thoughts in the comments down below because I like, you know, learning and growing. So, um, yeah, that is the, I guess, my thought on your question. And good luck with that because I think everyone has been in that type of situation before. A lot of people have. So, I know how you feel. Um, okay. So, I feel like that ended on a very, like, I know how you feel. But I, I believe you're going to be 
good. So that being said, we're going to do the Twitter question. Um, hello, Nikki. I was wondering who the first YouTuber you met was and what was it like? The first YouTuber I met was Ingrid or Miss Glamorazzi and she was someone that before I met her I had been watching her videos for a while and so I was a fan of hers. So when she reached out and asked to go to lunch with me, I think I had like 6,000 subscribers or something like that. I was so excited and I don't even know. I was just really nervous. I remember when she like walked into the restaurant I was like, oh my gosh, that's Miss Glamorazzi. So it's just, it was cool too getting to know her because she's just such a sweet girl and just really beautiful inside and out. So um, yeah, she was the first YouTuber I met. Oh yeah, that Twitter question is for the next video. Okay, so that is all. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I will see you very, very soon. And yeah, bye guys. <laughs>